Harry, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to Shelf 13. Oh boy, yep, we're on 13 of my uh, horror and DVD uh, shelf videos. Um, so, thank you again for enjoying. Now, just to let you know, I did create a playlist of the shelf series. The Blu-ray section, along with so far the DVD and Blu-rays. So if you think I missed a movie, you can go back into the playlist and take a look to see, okay, here's the Blu-ray section to see if it's in there. So yeah, so all those are all going to be grouped together for the 2021 edition. So definitely check out those uh, films, videos. All right, so I'm on a stool here, so you hear, probably hear me sliding all over the place. Without further ado, uh, some movies on top here. We have uh, Scary Tales. This is from Vinegar Syndrome. And then we also have... I should probably put it over here, too. Ah, yeah. Make it easier to set things down on. <laughs> My tripod's not doing the greatest. Uh, Satan's Blood. Another Vinegar Syndrome goodie. And up here we have... Uh, Skylines is the third one in the seat the series. I should just other handed. Uh, Siren. This is a independent film where people are all pretty much out camping and whatnot in the woods. They hear a specific siren noise and it triggers an occult. And this cult goes after them. And of course we have uh, the Serbian film. <laughs> All right, so next up on the shelves, all right, we have uh, Nightmare. This is the Asian version of pretty much I Know What You Did Last Summer. So, yeah, pretty cool uh, Asian slasher. Put that down there. Nightmare Beach. Also, welcome to uh, Spring Break is the other title for it. Fun electrocution slasher. Uh, Nightmare Cinema. I enjoy this little anthology. Uh, definitely check it out. Uh, Nightmare Detective. One I haven't had a chance to watch yet. Uh, Nightmare Man. This was pretty cool. Um, this woman's seeing dreams of this creature-like thing, like a dude in a mask, as uh, it drives her nuts. There's a cool twist to it. Then we have uh, Nightmare Sisters from Vinegar Syndrome with a reversible cover art. Uh, Nightmare Vacation from SRS Cinema. This looked pretty cool, so I picked up that shot on video. Uh, Nightwish. <laughs> Freaking twisted film. I enjoyed that one. Uh, the Ninth Gate with Johnny Depp. Uh, again, I have to keep watching this movie because every time I watch it, I fall asleep to watching it. I don't know what it is. Uh, the Ninth Passenger. This is a cool creature feature. I just wish the creature got more screen time. The creature looked awesome. Uh, Night Tales with uh, Flavor Flav. Uh, this was like an anthology. And right there you got Tony Todd in a freaking clown outfit. Yeah, there's Tony Todd. Yep, so Night Tales. It's an okay anthology. Uh, we have No Man's Land. This is uh, the sequel to Reeker. This is also known as Rise of the Reeker. From Ghost House. Uh, no Solicitors. Uh, Noriko's Dinner Table. This is a pretty weird Asian. I think it has to deal with the suicide cult. That was part of the, the movies. Uh, if anybody knows, remem remembers or anything like that. Noriko's Dinner Table. I have this version of Nosferatu, the first vampire. And it actually has uh, David Carradine hosted by music by Typo Negative. <laughs> we actually watched this. It's pretty cool. It's uh, unreleased from Typo, so... I'm surprised they didn't get in trouble. Uh, Night of the Earth. Night of the Earth, this is the 1990 uh, remake. I still gotta get, get around to the other one. Uh, the Nun. This is a different type of nun movie by, uh, I think it's a British uh, school. Kills this nun, and this nun comes back to pick them off one at a time. Tries to drown them. It's all based on water. Then we have The Nun, the one based on... Uh, Conjuring Universe, which is okay. Uh, the Oatmeal Man. <laughs> yeah. 
a man pretty much who gets covered in oatmeal and he kills people. Actually, it's very good. I definitely recommend this movie. If you've never seen it, don't let the the, the title alone freak you out. It's, it's freaking good. Uh, the Oblong Box, classic anthology, really cool flick. Octoman, <laughs> gotta love Octoman. It actually comes with the Cremators uh, movie as well. Octopus, this is Sci-Fi Channel, the giant killer octopus movie. And the sequel, Octopus 2, River of Fear, which is actually better than the first one, in my opinion. Uh, we have Odd Thomas, which is a pretty cool flick. Uh, the Offspring, which I have to get around to watching. I don't remember that one as much. Uh, Ogaroth, the Mad Mutilator. Some uh, pretty cool horror film. <laughs> then we have uh, Olivia, also known, I think it's known as Perosi or Perazzi. Uh, see, up here we have uh, The Reptile, some camera goodness. Uh, the Spell. I love The Spell. I thought that was a pretty cool uh, voodoo type movie. Uh, the Thirst. It's another uh, Aussie flick. Ombus. Uh, the Alien Invasion. I got this at a convention. Pretty much this meteorite crashes to Earth and sends this weird green shit and, and infects people. It's actually pretty cool. I think you can still find this like on Amazon or something. Uh, Once Upon a Time on Christmas. Some cool Christmas uh, horror film based on the 12 Days of Christmas. Uh, Once Upon Once Upon a Time, Once Upon a Nightmare from the Sleeves Box. Uh, the One Miss Call American release. Open Graves, which is a cool uh, killer board game movie. Uh, the Oracle, <laughs> low budget. Uh, this movie made me laugh. Like a weird transvestite slasher, pretty much. Orca the Killer Whale. Love Orca. Organism. Cool uh, sci-fi channel movie about a giant organism that grows into these roots that attacks the town. Orphan. Cool uh, killer kid flick. Otis. Another fun uh, <laughs> deranged guy. Uh, the Outing and the Godsend. Now, supposedly the Outing is getting another... Release from the Vinegar Syndrome, I think it is. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Outpost, some World War zombie movies. Same thing with Outpost, uh, Black Sun, which is the sequel. And the third one, which is Outpost, Rise of the Spetsnaz. And another war movie, Overlord. Overlord was fucking awesome. If you've never seen Overlord, highly recommend it. Uh, up here we have uh, Slumber Party Massacre. Uh, slasher Red Party, which is a cool independent slasher film based about a bachelor party and a bachelor party with uninvited guests. Okay, put those up there. Uh, Scare Me, the one I need to get around to watching from Shudder. If anybody's seen that one, let me know what your thoughts slide uh p2 a christmas horse flick woman trapped in a garage with a psychotic killer pretty cool uh the pack pack's cool killer dog movie i hope someday uh this gets a blu-ray would be nice uh pale blood i don't want to need to get around watching uh pan's labyrinth awesome flick from del toro wow pretty cool special effects and everything uh, Pandemonium. This is actually a pretty interesting uh, slasher flick with a dude with a giant panda mask on his head that goes around killing office workers and hookers. <laughs> All right, Papa Gouda. I said this before. This is the Bollywood version of Child's Play, pretty much. Uh, Parasite. Uh, killer like eagles, like things on an oil rig. That's fun. Uh, Parasite with Demi Moore. Uh, this was like an old trauma, not trauma, old um, Vinegar Sin, no, Full Moon. It was an old Full Moon movie that got better release. Uh, Parasitic. This is a cool uh, creature feature. It takes place in a strip club. 
And this monster grows the, as you can see right there, some cool practical effects, people getting uh, mutated. Fine, you don't wanna go, I'll put you up over here for now. I hate when that happens. Uh, party line, people getting murdered through a party line pretty much. Uh, Patrick, uh, original Patrick, and then we have the remake of Patrick. You now he's comatose and somehow he kills people being comatose, pretty cool. Uh, Peninsula, this is the sequel to Train to Busan. It was okay, Train to Busan is so much better. Uh, Pet Cemetery 2, I have the first one and the remake in Steelbooks, so they're in the Steelbook section. Uh, the Phantom of 10,000 Leagues, classic creature feature. Up here we have uh, Sacrifice, it's like a H.P. Lovecraft type movie. Uh, we have The Pale Door, which I actually enjoyed. It's a western horror film with witches and witchcraft. Then we have, uh, uh, I'm not going to pronounce how you say this, but that's uh, Revenge of the Blood Beast, which is actually a pretty cool flick. Uh, Phantom Racer. This is a uh, sci-fi channel, pretty much a killer car movie that sci-fi channel did. Actually really good. I liked it. Uh, Phantoms. Yep. Uh, ben Affleck was the bominant. Uh, Pickman's Muse. This is a cool H.P. Lovecraft uh, flick about this... Uh, I think it was an artist named Pickman, and he gets... He goes to a church, and this church gives him ideas to paint these cathedrals, and people are dying around him, and it's got huge HP Lovecraft. Pretty cool flick. Uh, Pieces of Talent, awesome, awesome movie. Pig Hunt, cool uh, killer pig movie. Uh, Pinata, Survival Island, pretty much Pinata-type monster kills these people. And that's the dude from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> uh, Pinocchio's Revenge. Oh, that's a cheesy flick. Uh, the Piper. The Piper is very well done. It makes you feel sorry for this dude who goes around trying to take care of his child. And this uh, town tells him if he gets rid of the rats, they'll take care of him and his child. And they don't, so he gets revenge. Pretty cool. Uh, Piranha. This is the 90s remake. I have the original in with the Steelbooks. Uh, Piranha 2 of the Spawning, which I actually really enjoyed. Uh, Piranha 3D. Love Piranha 3D. And then Piranha uh, Double D. The Pit. It's awesome. Uh, the Pit and the Pendulum. Another HP Lovecraft flick. Up here we have uh, uh, Twice Dead from Scream Factory. Which is fun. Uh, Sputnik, Russian creature feature. Also enjoyed. Uh, Shortcut, which is another type of creature feature. About kids on a bus and uh, there is a crazed killer. And they get trapped in a tunnel with a monster. Yeah. Uh, Plague of Zombies, The Mutant Zone from Fangoria International. It's a pretty cool flick. Plaguers um, with uh, Steve Railsback. This was actually really fun to watch. It's like zombie demons in outer space. Uh, Plan 9. This is like the sequel to Plan 9 from Outer Space. Which is right here. Plan 9 from Outer Space. Uh, Planet Terror. Which is... Oh, I love Planet Terror. Plankton. This is also known as uh, Creatures from the Abyss. Just I always like this title. And I always remember that weird ass title with a girl with tentacles around her neck. Uh, Plaster Head, it's an interesting slasher. Play Dead, woman uses a dog to kill people in witchcraft. Pledge Knight, that's a fun one. Weird, weird ass uh, slasher, pretty much. Oh, I knocked some shit over. Then up here we have uh, Psycho 2, Psycho 3, Psycho 4. From Scream Factory. Uh, Pledge, which is a uh, weird type of creature feature, to tell you the truth. Uh, Pod, that's another fun creature feature. Uh, Poker Knight. Polaroid, this is a cool possessed camera. Whatever happens to the photo of you, 
it pretty much happens to you. And there's like a spirit after you as well. It's in the photo. Uh, Pontypool. This is a really cool flick. It's a Canadian type of uh, zombie film to do with sound. Definitely recommend it. Uh, good old porno holocaust. <laughs> uh, the Pool, which is another cool uh, slasher in a giant pool. I think it's like the UK or something. Uh, Possessor Uncut. It's an awesome film. Uh, the Poughkeepsie Tapes. Premonition. It's a weird Asian flick. Uh, the Presence. This is a made-for-TV movie with Kathy Ireland. It was supposed to spawn a show. Like, this was the, the movie for it. And then later on, the show never got made. So it ends, like, with a huge cliffhanger. And we don't know what happens. Uh, Prey. This is a killer boar movie about a dude who is part of this weird household and uh they all go out hunting for boar and the boars go after them it's pretty neat okay then we have this prey which is a fun slasher and up here we got some more <laughs> I to put the titles up here uh phantom of paradise by scream factory uh psycho the remake with Vince Vaughn and PG Psycho Goreman, which is fucking awesome. If you've never seen Psycho Goreman, do it. Uh, we have oh, Primal Rage. I just realized I grabbed it out of spot. So sorry about that. I'm supposed to grab Prey of Prey for the Beast. Cool low budget creature feature, big ass monster movie, some good gore. This is called Pride, uh, Pride Wider. I don't know. It's a killer fridge movie. It's based on a Singaporean uh, anthology, and they made their own movie out of it, like a remake. Uh, like a fridge with tentacles and shit that eat people. <laughs> you know me. I love that shit. Oh, yeah. And here's Primal Rage, which I already grabbed. Then this Primal Rage. Oh, I'm so glad that it's got a Blu-ray release. Guy gets bit by a monkey and he gets superpowers and then these bullies get the powers and they start murdering people at a dance. Oh yeah, good goodness. Uh, Prime Evil and the Lurkers double feature. Oh, some classic goodness. Uh, Primitives, it's a cannibal flick from Severin. Prodigy, new killer kid flick. Uh, Project Metal Beast, <laughs> Kane Hodder, and uh, pretty much this dude who is, uh... oh, what was it, what was the one that gets the skin on him, was it Barry Boswick, I don't remember, well, the main dude pretty much, he uh, finds out there's werewolves, and they're working on like metal skin, so he injects himself with the serum, and gets bit by a werewolf, so he turns into like a, a metallic robotic werewolf, <laughs> yep, yeah. Uh, Project Viper, cool sci-fi channel, like, killer blob type movie. I love Project Viper. Uh, Prom Night, it's okay, Slasher. Uh, Prom Night 2, Hello, Mary Lou. I enjoy this one a lot more. It's got that little supernatural feel to it. Uh, Prom Night 3 and Prom Night 4. Uh, the Prophecy, I love The Prophecy, killer mutated bear movie. Love it. Uh, the Prowler, fantastic slasher. Also, I uh, think it was called uh, something. What was the Rosemary's Killer? That's the alternative title. Uh, the Psychic by uh, Fulci. Fun shit. Uh, cycles in Love, pretty much two cycles love each other and they start murdering people all nearby them. <laughs> Uh, Psychomania. This is a pretty cool flick. Up on top here we have uh, Rewind from the Horror Pack. Raw. It's a cool uh, cannibal flick. And Queen from Outer Space. Good old, old classic. In the rest of the shelf we have uh, Pterodactyl. Fun sci-fi channel. Killer dinosaur movie pretty much. 
Uh, Pumpkins. It's a fun slasher. I didn't mind it. I love the title. Uh, pumpkin Head. I love me some Pumpkin Head. Uh, pumpkin Head 2, Blood Wings. Not a lot of people like this one, but I don't mind it. I actually like watching Pumpkin Head 2. But pumpkin Head 3, Ashes to Ashes, is a little bit of a different story. And so is with uh, Pumpkin Head 4, Blood Feud. Kind of like the Hatfields and McCoys versus Pumpkin Head. <laughs> Pretty much what it reminds me of. Uh, we have Purgatory Road, put out by <coughs> Unearth. It's not bad. And if I can get to these last three. We have Python with Casper Van Dien and Robert England. Awesome killer giant snake movie. The sequel, Python Part 2. <laughs> I enjoy those. And last for this shelf we have is... Uh, quarantine. So yeah, guys, that's it for shelf 13. I'd like to hear your thoughts below. Let me know in the comments section and stay tuned for more shelving. Later, guys. Peace.